Hi, today I would like to speak with you about uh, the conditions of working and living aboard river and ocean cruise ships. So let me introduce you a bit. Um, let's start first with the conditions of working aboard river cruise ships in Europe. River cruise ships offer you different opportunities like traveling along the most beautiful rivers in Europe. You visit amazing cities such as Amsterdam, Cologne, Basel, Vienna, Bratislava, Budapest, Paris, Lyon, Belgrade, and many, many more along the journey. You close international friendships with people from different nationalities, and you offer the minimum living costs on board. Working aboard a river cruise ship can be seen as well like working in a luxury hotel just afloat. Let me share with you some key facts about living and working aboard a river cruise ship. River cruise ships in Europe have a capacity of 90 up to 200 passengers in Europe, and they sail along the rivers of Rhine, Main, Danube, Saone, Rhone, Bordeaux, Elbe, and Douro River. You live and work aboard a ship, you will share a cabin with one of your colleagues, and you will work in a small team, an in international team of 30 to 55 colleagues on board. And on top of this, you will be traveling every day to a different city in Europe. You can see a little map of the places you are traveling to, and you can see as well you're traveling to different countries, Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, France, Czech Republic, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, and sometimes even as well Ukraine. Here are some pictures, as you can see the Dome of Cologne, uh, the Castle of Bratislava, and the Iron Gate in Serbia. <coughs> Let me share with you as well some details about the contracts which are offered working on board a river cruise ships. The seasonal contracts are lasting from March until November, December, a season. You will be offered an EU or Swiss working contract issued in France, Switzerland, or Cyprus. The social and health insurance is always paid and covered by your employer. And you're being offered free accommodation and meals which are provided on board the river ship some another images of the river cruises you can see on the left side the stefan storm in budapest for christmas market season on the upper side some river cruise ships stocked in port of amsterdam and below winter time in bratislava in slovakia let's continue with the contracts uh, travel expenses are paid and covered by the employer um, some companies do even organize the journey to the ship and back you will receive paid vacation days, which has been changed recently and adapted, which gives you usually six vacation days per month and adding up to a rotation of two months working on board, followed by two weeks of vacation leaves. The net salaries on board river cruise ships are depending from position and starting usually at approximately 1,200 euro net per month and can reach up to 3,800 euro or more, depending obviously on your position on board. And additionally, you will receive tipping money paid by the passengers at the end of the each cruise, which can vary from 300 euro per month or up to 1000 euro per month. Just as a side note, tips are never guaranteed, but this is an average information. Here you can see just a short overview of the positions available on, on board such a river cruise ship. Obviously, the hotel de department is led by the hotel manager when we go to the left side, then we have the guest service department with the front office manager, receptionist, and the night audit, a position I had covered. Then you have the housekeeping department with the housekeeper and the cabin stewards on board. You have the restaurant department led by the maitre d' and uh, his waiters, chef de rangs, and the bar chef and the bar waiter. You have the galley team with the executive chef, sous chef, and then different positions in the galley, such as chef de party, pastry chef, entremedi, comedy cuisine, utility for the dishwash position, and obviously as well, you have the cruise director uh, handling the cruise stuff on board. <clears throat> Another example of river ships uh, in Europe, you will see river ships lined up typically next to each other, such as in the port of Vienna, then a river ship at night in port of Budapest and below uh, river ships in port of Bratislava. Working on life on board a river cruise ship um, is, means six to seven days working per week with a daily workload of, of approximately 10 to 12 hours. Uh, sometimes even you have one day off per week. If this is not possible to arrange due to operational requirements, 
it will be added to your time account and be given uh, at the end of the contract or paid out on top of it. A typical day, for example, in uh, on board a ship is that you will start your shift by 7 a.m. in the morning until 1 p.m., 2 p.m. a day. Then you have an afternoon break from 2 to 5, 5.30, and then you have your evening service in your department starting at 5.30 until 9, 10 o'clock per day, and then you have the evening off. This is an example of one of our um, major companies we are working with, Viking Cruises, which is offering a job that is going places. Uh, our Rosa Reederei is a German river cruise company uh, providing uh, cruises for many German-speaking passengers, but as well international cruises on top. We have River Advice, the leading management company for river cruise ships in Europe, offering a variety of positions um, on English-speaking, German-speaking, and international river cruise ships. Sea Chefs is a leading management company for river and ocean cruise ships, but here we're focusing on the river cruises, um, providing as well service on German speaking and English speaking vessels. And you have Edelweiss Gastro as well, a leading management ship shipping company in Europe, owning and operating ships by themselves and as well um, providing the catering crew. And they are as well working with English speaking, German speaking, and international passengers on board. Crank Circle Cruise Line is as well a river cruise company with American customers, many on board, and sailing as well to different destinations. As the name says, it's only English-speaking customers. Uniworld is a six-star uh, boutique river cruise company with uh, first-class service on board, having ex excellent as well contract conditions and providing a great opportunity for your career in the river cruise industry. <coughs> Let's now have a quick look as well on the ocean cruises, which is a bit different than the river cruises, but as well very attractive and interesting for you to consider. Working on board river cruise ships is offering traveling around the world and getting paid for it. You have destinations in the, in the cruise industry, like such as Caribbean islands, Asia, Dubai, Emirates, Mediterranean Sea is a typical destination where many, many cruise ships are operating all year round. South America is a seasonal destination, the same as South Africa and Northern Europe. And then you have some smaller ships, the expedition vessels, which are sailing as well to Antarctica, Arctica, and many other places more, for example, as well the Amazonas River. You will get um, international friendships on board, discover the world, and you have a minimum living cost uh, due to many services being provided directly for the crew. Working on board a cruise ship is working such an, a luxury resort because there's so many facilities on board. Uh, it's just basically on the ocean. <clears throat> Here, we are sharing with you some personal impressions from my life uh, working on board the Mona Lisa, which was sailing with German-speaking passengers and as well international passengers from time to time. Easter Island in the Pacific Ocean, uh, the ship sailing into a port of Germany. Then we have Papua, uh, we have um, Papete in the South Pacific, beautiful destinations. And then the same, we've been to Spitzbergen in the very north, which was a bit colder, but still very nice and impressive. Some key facts about living and working on board an ocean cruise ship. You living and you working on board a ship all the time. You will most probably share a cabin with one of your colleagues, so it's usually two persons per cabin. You will work in international team, depending on the size of the vessels, of 200 up to 2,000 crew members, and you are traveling to every day to a different country in the world. Contracts on board ocean cruise ships vary from position and as well from company, and they can range from four to seven months on board, followed by a period of two months off. Usually on board, you're working seven days a week with a daily workload of 10 to 12 hours per day. The employer is providing you free accommodation and meals, which are provided on board, and the traveling to the ship and back is paid and organized by the employer. Contracts on board ocean cruise ships um, are being uh, as well uh, offered in different conditions, depending from company to company as well, and as well from position to position. The salary is usually paid in euro or US dollar, depending on the ship's flag and the arrangements on board. Starting salaries will vary from 1,000 euro net up to 5,000 euro net or more. This is um, really depending on your position and in your assignment on board. 
and you have uh, one of the biggest advantage working on board. You have a, a incredible career opportunities to grow in your career. When you start, for example, as a waiter, it doesn't mean that you have to stay a waiter. You can work one contract as a waiter, the next contract as a head waiter, and the next contract as system waiter. This is a bit depending as well on your personal eagerness and your personal hunger. If you're hungry for career opportunities, you will certainly find it on board. And the companies are always promoting as well from within to give you the chance to grow in your career. Currently, just as a side note for your information, there are more than 100 new cruise ships on order until 2026, which uh, gives you a great opportunity within this fantastic industry. Just for you, some positions which are usually hired uh, on board um, by the companies, for example, in the restaurant, maitre the head waiter, waiter position, assistant waiter, in the front of house uh, department, guest service agent, receptionists, first person, international host, chief person, tour guide, and hostess position. You have the bar department on board as a bar manager, bar chef, senior barkeeper, barkeeper, waiter, and the galley department, obviously, as well, with the executive chef, executive sous chef, sous chef position, chef de party, demi chef de party, committee cuisine. You have the housekeeping department with the chief housekeeper or rooms divisions manager, assistant housekeeper, assistant rooms division manager, and trainee housekeeper. And then there are a couple of other positions, which are not typical hotel positions, such as shop department, photographer, massage therapist, beauticians, fitness trainer, new stuff, entertainment, uh, and many, many, many more. Would like to introduce you some companies we are working with. Um, for example, Sea Chefs as an um, international cooling partner. They are working for leading cruise companies which are well known in the German market, such as Hapa Cloyd Cruises, Mindshift from Tui Cruises, and Phoenix Reisen. Um, for example, Hapa Cloyd is an ultra luxury cruise line which is offering worldwide cruises uh, to worldwide destinations. You have the Mindshift, a German premium uh, cruise company which is offering international destinations. Then you have MSC Cruises, the largest privately owned cruise company with a fleet of more than 19 cruise ships currently in operation and another 10 ships on order uh, until 2027. You have Cunard and P&O Cruises from Carnival UK. Uh, international cruise companies, especially Cunard, um, is offering regular worldwide cruises. And P&O courses is focusing mainly on the British market with British customers. World by destinations, uh, it's not, not a joke, it's really reality. I've been there, I've been two times around the world. You can see Queen Mary 2 from Cunard in Port of San Francisco above. You can see uh, in the South, South Sea, great islands and destinations and the typical blue water of the ocean, which is remarkable. Obviously, there are so many opportunities as well in Asia waiting for you and giving you great, uh, fantastic chances to step out of your daily comfort, of your daily uh, soon, and to discover some new and exciting places. Every day on board offers you a little adventure and a little excitement to be happy and looking forward to. Queen Mary 2, um, seen as well in international ports. This is Sydney in Australia. You can have uh, expeditions uh, to the Arctic, seeing really icebergs or the Norwegian fjords, which is a fantastic natural scenery. Have been there, have done that. It's fantastic. It's amazing. So how to get on board such, such a cruise ship? Um, we are organizing regular interviews in the assessment center. Uh, first step to get on board. Um, before the pandemic situation, obviously we had this sort of personal assessment, personal interviews. Nowadays, everything is getting more and more online as well and online interviews, but as well, companies are getting slowly back as well to the personal assessments where you can meet a recruiter of the company, get to know their product, get to know their uh, uh, company, and as well have a personal one-to-one -one interview where you can present yourself to the company representatives. As well, regularly, we are present on job fairs where you can meet us personally. You can ask your questions. You can uh, ask anything about the positions available, what are the requirements, language skills, and many more. And we will be happy to answer it to you. As well, we have a professional web page in three languages offered in Slovak and English and German, where you can find more information about our companies we are working with, 
as well about the current opportunities and as well about the next interviews which are coming up. Follow us on Facebook. We have a page in Slovak language. We have a page in English and German language. For sure, you will find something which you like and they will share a lot of uh, information about working on board and as well current opportunities within the industry. Or you can follow us on Instagram and then you find as well many more information. I would like to thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, reach out to me directly. Send me an email to stefan.liebig at backupminusjobs.com or contact us on our website, backupminusjobs.com. For the moment, thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at any time. I wish you all the best, stay well, and hope to listen and learn more from you soon. Thank you.